Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,283. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,283 to 1,285 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about the brand new min ifs and max ifs functions. Now, you have to have Excel 2016 for Office 365. Now, the Office 365 just means they're going to give us updates regularly. And the min ifs, max ifs just came in the February update. Now, if you need to figure out how to get the right version, you can watch this video here. Not only that, but min ifs and max ifs. I have a bunch of cool things I want to show you in this video. And actually, yesterday, I spent six and a half hours shooting and editing the video. And I couldn't fit it all together in a comprehensive way. So I actually actually broke it all apart. In this video, we're just going to look at min ifs and max ifs. In 1284, we'll look at the history of the max or min calculation with conditions. And then in 1285, we'll see how to do or criteria, which is not something that min ifs and max ifs do in the criteria arguments. All right, let's just check out min ifs. Here it is. For this min column, we're simply looking through the sales column, and we need to find the minimum sales for each one of our products, Bell and Carlo to Quad, Sunshine, and so on. So we say equals min, and sure enough, look at that, min ifs. Now, in earlier versions, we had sum if and sum ifs with an s, but that was for backwards compatibility. Going forward, we do not need a min if and min ifs with an s, because the s version of this function can do one or more conditions. All right, the min range is simply the values we're looking through to find the minimum value. Control Shift Down Arrow, and then F4 to lock it, because I'm copying this formula down. That's the min range comma to get to the next argument. Now it says criteria range. And then over here it says criteria. Anytime you see criteria range, that means I need the whole product column so min ifs can look through it and then try and find the bellin. So for criteria range, I click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow to shoot it down to the bottom, F4 to lock it because we're copying this down, comma. Criteria simply means the criteria to go through and hunt through this column. So now it's hunting through and it's getting false, 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 false. It's not until it gets right here that it sees the first true. It found a match. And now it can take that number. It continues down. It found another true. So it gets another number. Those numbers will be dumped into min, only the ones for Bellin, and then it will find the minimum. Close parentheses. Control Enter. There it is. There's the minimum value from the sales column for our Bellin product. Double click and send it down. And there we go. I'm going to go to the last cell and hit F2. I'm verifying that the two ranges are locked. And this one is looking relatively one cell to my left. That's pretty amazing. It was so much harder in earlier versions to do min calculations with conditions or criteria. Now, max ifs is similarly easy, M-A-X-I-F-S, tab. Max range, that's all the numbers, Control Shift down on F4, comma, criteria range, it's the same product column, Control Shift down on F4. I've locked both of those, comma. Criteria is one, two cells to my left, Bellin, that's a relative cell reference, close parentheses, Control Enter, 1,551 and 96 cents. That's the biggest sale we had for the Bellin product. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2, to verify. Looks like all the cell references are working. So the max for the Butte product, 1,620. Now here, we did min ifs and max ifs with a single condition. But we can have as many conditions we want, I think up to like 256 or something ridiculous like that. I've never seen any formula with maybe more than 10 or something like that. But here we have two conditions for this min calculation. I need to look through the sales rep column and find Sue. Then I need to look through the products column and find quad. Only when I find a Sue and a quad am I allowed to pick out the number from this column and use it for my either min or max calculation. Now I'm looking through here. I'm going to scroll down here. 
Wow, it's not till way down here that I find the first one. Notice I find a sue and a quad. Both are true. Then I get to pick out this number and consider it for the min or max calculation. Now, this is an AND criteria situation or an AND logical test. It means I need to find true I found the quad and true I found sue. Both conditions have to be met in order to get this number. This data set, by the way, control down arrow looks like it's over 390 records. Control up arrow. All right, so two conditions, no problem for equals min ifs. The min range, hey, it's the same sales range. Control shift down on F4, comma, criteria range one. I can choose whichever column I want to look through, sales rep or product. It doesn't matter which order because this is an and logical test. Both conditions have to be met in order to get two trues, and it doesn't matter which order. I'm going to choose to do the sales rep first. Control shift down arrow F4 to lock it. Comma. Criteria. I have to make sure and select the correct criteria. That's the sales rep name I'm looking for and the correct column, the sales rep column. Now that's a relative cell reference. Comma. And the screen tip is polite. Now it says criteria range 2. Now I need to look for the product quad. So I come over and select the top cell in the product column. Control shift down arrow F4, comma. And this criteria, notice I'm trying to click there and I can't. I'm actually going to use my arrow key and arrow over. If that didn't work, I could click right above and then down arrow. Now I see K4. Now I need to lock this because this needs to be absolute. So as I copy down, it will be locked on the quad. There's my second condition. There's my second criteria range. There's my first condition, first criteria range, and the sum range. I'm going to come to the end, close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click and send it down to get a min calculation with two conditions or criteria. F2 to verify relative cell reference. Absolute, and these ones are absolute. Now I'm going to cheat here. Watch this, since I'm doing the same exact calculation. I'm going to put this in edit mode and highlight it in edit mode and control C to copy, escape to revert back to the formula before I put it in edit mode. Click in the cell F2 and control V. Now all I'm going to do is I don't want min in this column. I want, instead of in, I want an X. Max ifs. The rest of the arguments are exactly the same. Control Enter, double click it, send it down. I've done a max calculation with two conditions or criteria. F2 to verify, sure enough, it's all in the correct place. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use the amazing max ifs and min ifs to do min and max calculations with one or more conditions. Now in our next video, we'll see what to do if you don't have 2016, and we'll actually see a little history lesson of all the different ways we did this calculation before we had these awesome new functions. All right, we'll see you next video.